We're going to go ahead and get started. I want to welcome everybody once again and thank you for joining us for this virtual award ceremony uh, here on this Tuesday after our event on Friday. A couple of housekeeping items as we get started. Um, the best way to view today's award ceremony is in speaker view. You should be able to switch to speaker view in your upper right hand corner and you should see me as the big picture and everyone else at the top. If you don't want to share your video, then you can click stop video at the bottom left. Um, a reminder, everyone will be muted for this presentation, except for me, uh, but we do have a chat function. So if you have questions or comments, you can feel free to chat those in and our staff is going to be monitoring and answering those questions. Um, then once we go into presentation mode, you'll see a view options tab at the top. You can use this to go into side by side mode. So before we kick off the award ceremony, just a quick reminder that you can still bid on our silent auction items. Our auction is open until 6 p.m. tonight. A link to the silent auction has been shared, shared in the chat box, and there are some really great items available, including three round trip tickets on Southwest Airlines. So make sure you get your bids in before 6 p.m. So once again, I want to welcome you to this virtual award ceremony. I want to thank you for joining us today, as well as Friday out at Elk Creek. We were thrilled to have um, to be able to have an event in this really, really strange year. So um, we're doing this award ceremony virtually because we were unable to do a large gathering after the event due to COVID restrictions. But even though we had a slightly pared down event with 22 teams this year, we were frankly thrilled that we were able to just hold the event at all. And we were really blessed with wonderful weather on Friday and, and some great camaraderie. So really appreciate everybody making the trip out to Elk Creek on Friday. Uh, we're still calculating our totals uh, and our silent auction is yet to close, but we're thrilled to share that, that even without all the totals in, we know we've raised over $50,000. So we thank everybody uh, for, for being part of our event. And so we've raised over $50,000 and counting. And so we're just really, really thrilled, thrilled about that. Next, I want to uh, highlight our sponsors. Our presenting sponsor for this year's event was Woodbine Construction, and Woodbine is a longtime partner of ours and a longtime supporter of ours. Earlier this year, they completed work on the largest expansion in our history, and want to thank Mike Ryder and John Walsh and everybody at Woodbine for, for their support, including being the presenting sponsor of this Clay's Classic event. I also want to thank Material Handling Systems. They were our CART sponsor today. Um, they've also been a multi-year supporter and sponsor of us. So I want to thank the team at MHS for all their wonderful support and for joining us on, on Friday. I want to thank our awards lunch sponsors, Caldwell Tanks and Preload. Also thanks to the Rogers Group, Palmer Roofing and Sheet Metal and Echo. They're all our awards sponsors, so thank you for sponsoring our awards ceremony. Also, a big thanks to the Kids and Clays Foundation. Kids and Clays was formed over 20 years ago with the sole mission to support Ronald McDonald Houses who were putting on Sporting Clays events. So uh, we certainly couldn't do this event with Kids and Clays, and we're thankful to, to uh, the, the staff and board at Kids and Clays. Uh, also, thanks to Martin Brower, East and Westbrook Construction construction and to all of our other sponsors who made Friday's event possible. We're really, really grateful to, to all of our sponsors. So um, let's move now and uh, start giving away some prizes. We're going to announce the winners of our Mossberg and Savage demo guns. Hope everybody had a fun time uh, participating in, uh, in those side games. The winner of the Mossberg handgun valued at over $400 is Randy Poss. Congratulations, Randy. The winner of the Savage 20 gauge shotgun valued at $900 is Steve Couch. Congratulations, Steve. Uh, Randy and Steve, congratulations. Someone from our team will be getting in contact with you to arrange for pickup of uh, your, your new guns from a licensed gun dealership. So congratulations there. Before we move into the team and individual awards, we want to remind everyone of why we're here and why we do fundraising events like the Clay's Classic. On the screen, you see a picture of the Pruden family. Um, since opening in 1984, our Ronald McDonald House and Ronald McDonald Family Rooms have been more than a house to the families we serve. We provided a home away from home to over 120,000 family members uh, like the Prudens uh, who have to travel to Louisville um, with their seriously ill child. 
This year's been extra special for us because we opened the largest expansion in our history, growing from 36 to 56 guest rooms, and that's enabled us to serve way more families than ever before. Now, unfortunately, with the onset of COVID, which came right after we finished our expansion project, we haven't yet reached our full new capacity of 56 rooms, but we look forward to, to doing that soon. Well, the Pruden family is uh, a very special family. They came and stayed with us right around the time COVID hit in, in March. Uh, Martin and Tiffany are from Owensboro, Kentucky, and they stayed with us after their son, Jerome, was born by C-section and had to be life flighted to Norton Children's Hospital here in Louisville. Um, again, this all just happened in, in March, right around the time COVID hit, and, and they were able to stay with us for several months. So let's take a moment and watch a short video about the Pruden family story. Well, I was 27 weeks and four days pregnant, went into um, the OBED at Owensboro Health, and um, I wasn't feeling my baby move as much as he usually did. Throughout the testing, they noticed that um, I was low on fluid, and he wasn't, the baby wasn't moving as he should and his heart rate wasn't as it should. So they decided to do an emergency C-section and afterwards they life flighted him here at the Norton Children's Hospital. When we had got up here or when we had got up here with him, then there was a lot more talk of it with the Norton M employees. Is, you know, have you guys found a place to stay? You know, anything like that. At the time, we really didn't know of any place, but we had heard that Ronald McDonald's had some openings. The alternative of not being able to stay here would have been a lot more stressful yeah. to figure out. Yeah. We'd either be at the hospital or traveling back and forth from Owensboro to here. I didn't expect all the things that were available here, mm -hmm. meals, laundry, you know, staying here. Um, I mean, I just, I wasn't aware of what it was before we had our son um, and it's amazing it's a great organization and we are just so thankful to have this opportunity yes yes very 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 much so it's made us i think a lot more appreciative of home <laughs> um, we're just antsy to get back home with our son um but it's it's the helping the generous giving that you all have provided that makes us want to give back to this organization and even other ones that we hear about that helps families like this that need that support during the difficult times. One thing that's really been a plus for us is the, uh, the availability of meals mm -hmm. because with the coronavirus that's going on around it's kind of jeopardizing for us to get out and risk any, anything at all. So it's a whole lot, that's one thing that we're very grateful for there. It's a very, very nice feeling to be here, honestly. We, we feel like you guys are like family to us and you help us with all the circumstances that are going on in our life now, being that we're a distance from home. You know, it's just, it's so nice to have a place to stay that's safe. And like I said, folks that, when we come in, have a, have a grieving smile for us. It just, it just makes us feel good overall, so. You know, you all, you meet the basic needs of families that come in. And families that have an emergency situation like we do, I wasn't even packed. I had nothing ready. Yeah. And to come here and have, you know, toiletries, meals, a safe mm -hmm. place, a nice, uh, you know, bathroom in the room where I could, you know, get around easier after surgery like that. Um, it's just been tremendous to have all of that. And just meeting those basic needs yeah. was a big thing yeah. there in the beginning and even now. Yeah. RMHC is more than just a house. To us, it's a family and it always will be a family to us. It's more than just walls and doors and windows. The folks at RMHC treat 
treat us the way we we feel they treat us the way that they want to be treated with respect and they try to meet as needs as best they possibly can whatever need that may be and that's that's worth a lot right there so you have done so much for us and it just makes us feel really really good really just a very big thank you from us to you guys we just make we just make the best of each day keep on smiling so. Hmm. Well, I'm happy to report that Jer baby Jerome is out of the hospital and the Prudents are back home in Owensboro. Um, I want to thank everyone who uh, was able to make a donation at Friday's event as a commitment to helping families like the Prudents. If you didn't get a chance to give on, on Friday, we are sharing a link in the chat box right now for you to click and donate online. It's quick and easy and it really does make a big impact on our families and, and their lives. All right, now it's time to announce the winners of our 2020 Clay's Classic. First, our team awards. Our third place squad with a score of 297 is Caldwell Tanks in Preload Team 2. Team members David Francis, Dean Werner, Ryan Harvey, and Mark Wheeler. Congratulations, guys. You're our third place winners. Our second place squad with a score of 315 is Extreme Coding with Kyle, Dean, and Colton Wuckperl along with Tim Klein. Congratulations, second place squad, 315. And now our winning team with a score of 318 is Jason McGinnis and Ledcore. Team members Jason McGinnis and Joe, Luke, and Ed Putnick. Congratulations, guys. Lastly, our top overall individual shooter was Jason McGinnis with a score of 94. That's great shooting, Jason and all the team winners too, congratulations. Each of the winners we just announced will be receiving a bottle of our one-of-a-kind J. Mattingly Single Barrel Select Bourbon, valued at $200. You can pick up your prizes at Ronald McDonald House in downtown Louisville, and someone on our team will be contacting our winners shortly to make arrangements for you picking those up. And if you're interested in seeing all of the team scores, you can see visit our website uh, to see the scores of all of our shooters from Friday's event. And that link has just been chatted into the chat box. Before we sign off today, we want to give a shout out to our Great Clays Classic committee members. You see their names there on the screen, and they worked really hard this year to plan an event in a year unlike any of us have ever experienced. So we really couldn't put this event on without our wonderful committee members who make this event happen. So, um, so gentlemen, we thank you so very much. I um, also want to thank our great team, our staff at Ronald McDonald House. They've um, done things they never would have imagined having to do this year and, and pivoting, I think, has been the, the term of the year. So just a quick shout out to, to our great team, uh, our development team at Ronald McDonald House, Danny Harper, Sarah Saletto, April Sage, and Susan Skolnick. Thank you, ladies. Y'all are wonderful. One last reminder uh, for our silent auction. Remember, remember to get those bids in. Uh, we've got great items and our auction closes at 6 p.m. tonight. So remember to put those final bids in and after the auction closes, we'll contact winning bidders to arrange pickup of your items. One last thank you to everyone for joining us today for making this event uh, a great event this year. We look forward to sharing, um, sharing next year's event with you. We don't have a date yet, but uh, know that we look forward to making next year's event even bigger and better than this year. So uh, one more thank you to everybody who joined us today and on Friday. We're really grateful to each of you. And so we're gonna sign off now and have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much for your support.